Hey guys, and welcome back to A Load of the Dark. To 2008. Holy shit. Well, things have gone a little bit tits up out here, haven't they? Uh, okay. Wow. Buttery cinematic. Two frames a second. Hello, mister. Well, well, well. One ugly motherfucker. It matters not that you're unable to recall your sins. For you, there will be no mercy. I'm not asking for mercy. So you assume responsibility for the blood you've shed? Well... That's my problem. Now let's see how you beg for mercy. <laughs> uh, so let's go spank this naughty boy's bum. Right, first thing we need is... Ah, oh, it's an empty bottle. Well, we don't really need that. Ah, plastic explosive bottle. You know the drill, guys. Enemy, so that can only mean one thing. Yep. Rinse and repeat. So, lots of explosive bottles. He will ragdoll us a few times. He has got a couple of tasty moves himself, but nothing too extreme. There we go. Hey, friend. Well, you could pretend to be interested, dude. I mean, honestly, what is this? Oh, God, he's about to do something pretty unpleasant, I think. Yeah, but luckily, all we've got to do to avoid it is just kind of hide out of his way. Dude, thank you. Oh, uh, I was actually using that, sir. I was really using that to avoid your ugliness. There we go. Okay, run. Let's get the flock out of here. Now, I can't decide whether we actually run faster. Whoa, he just lumped us over the head. I can't decide if we run faster in first person mode. I'm honestly not sure. Kind of feels like it's possible. Oh God, you little shit. Right, have one of them. And whilst you're at it, oh God, I thought we was in cover then. Whilst you're at it. We can have another. Well, we really are kind of out of healing items, which is fine. Oh, God, it is what it is. And, uh... Yeah. Son of a bitch. Edward, it wasn't safe there. Ah, oh, fuck! Why is that? It's a, a dead issue. <laughs> Sorry you missed the fun. I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, I'm not. But we don't really have much choice now, do we? Time to find this room 943. I've had enough mysteries. Time for some answers. Now, oh, that was a nice bit of animation there. Now, from what I can remember, uh, that was the last boss we're going to fight, I think. Maybe there's one more later on. Pretty sure that's the last boss in the game. Yep. Really, really. And I think that's like the hardest boss in the game as well, uh, if I'm remembering this correctly. So, kind of strange that you fight like two bosses pretty much back to back. Now, we need this gentleman's hand, don't we? So, I guess we're going to cut his hand off with a sword. I mean, you know, the swords had to be put in the game for some reason, right? Give me your hand, sir. Uh, not. There we go. Alright. No time to be a pussy. Lip, 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 lip. She's not impressed. She's literally not impressed. No fucks given at all. Yeah, Sarah. Well, good old security guard. At least he's given us a hand. <laughs> I love how floppy that hand is. It cracks me up. Okay, now, can we have some kind of first aid station, please? 
No? Okay. Uh, there's going to be one here somewhere. Oh, there we go. First aid station. Just what the doctor ordered. Can we really not pick that up? Don't want that. Um, yeah, let's drop that. That's fine. Now, let's get a bandage. Get ourselves taped up. Now, interestingly enough, I think I've actually injured myself... Uh, more than I've been injured before with these deep wounds at least anyway but who knows it's been a long time ago since I played the game pretty sure these deep injuries are way more substantial than I had yeah because I remember I got a lot of them by blowing myself up before but we haven't really been blowing ourselves up because yeah I'm a little bit more familiar with the game mechanics <laughs> If you can call them game mechanics anyway. Um, now. now. We've got 66% left in there. Make sure these are all topped off. They are. Uh, we've got two batteries left. Which is uh, okay I suppose. That battery's just about gone. It's going to start dying soon. Actually is there. Ah there's more batteries there. Cool. So, how many batteries did we get now? Five. Swap that out. Freshen up those batteries, because, yay, batteries, Duracells, zinc batteries, probably. In fact, even for zinc batteries, these are pretty fucking terrible. Uh, I don't know where they get these from, these video game batteries. What the hell are you doing? Uh, standing here, waiting for the batteries to respawn. You? Oh, actually, talking about batteries respawning. No, I thought there was batteries there. You're not a target, but you whine like a target. Uh, come on, batteries. Respawn. Ah, fuck this. Five batteries would probably be enough. Well, technically we got six, because we've got a fresh battery in the torch anyway. Okay, fine. All right, let's get this thing juiced up. And onwards. Ooh. Ooh. I guess we're going down. Now, what's interesting is some of these chapters, like the majority of what we have to do is destroy evil roots. But we don't have any evil roots to destroy. So some of these chapters are going to be really quick. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I would aim it somewhere else. But I've got to try and remember what I'm doing. Uh, if you could get out the way we jumping up here? Nope. Nope. We're going to monkey our way down here. That's fine. Ah! Uh, not quite like that, though. No. That was a monkey too far. Okay. Ah, oh, fucking checkpoints in this game suck. So much. Get out the fucking way. Seriously. Yeah, well, so you keep saying, but then you get in the bloody way. I kind of find it funny. I find it funny the way the sword bounces off your meat in a hilarious manner. Look, come on. Come on. It's not hard. There we go. Ugh. Let's use the analog stick for directional combat. Everybody loved that. Yay. What's that? Analog stick precision is dog shit? Ah. I mean, come on. If analog sticks are fucking awful for first person shooters, what are they going to be like for me? You can't, you know, trust them for anything else, can you? I mean, analog sticks, in my opinion, they are the last resort for precision. They're the absolute bottom of the barrel for precision. So let's use them for everything, shall we? All right, let's get that. Heal ourselves up. One good thing about coming back from, like, the dead, so to speak, like getting a checkpoint, is you will automatically heal your fatal wounds. So, I mean, you know, progress, I suppose. Um, right. Yep. 
Yep, so many people dead, all right. Right, I'm going to pause this and uh, wait for that equipment to come back. I'll catch you when we're fully stocked. Well, it doesn't look like anything's going to restock from these lockers, uh, which brings into question, I'm not really sure how the item restocking works. Uh, lockers definitely 100% do respawn items sometimes, maybe only when you're in the overworld. I'm not really sure. Right, so I'm guessing we're not jumping up here. I actually remember this bit that well. I guess we're just going to go down here. And there must be something that we can fall off onto. Um, yeah, let's pull ourselves back up a minute. Have a little look down. Uh, no. Oh, you fucking monkey. Okay. Uh, I'm a dumbass. I forgot this thing was literally right here. And now you're deaf, Sarah. Hope you don't mind. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I, uh, you know, whenever you get stuck in this game, it's never, it's it's never really something stupidly complicated. Let's just say that much. Okay, right. Let's blast our way in here. I suppose. There we go. Good thing we had some bullets. I just got. Remember. Oh God, how we actually do this. There we go. Oh, yeah, I don't think you you can. Yeah, I don't think you can do that in first-person mode. Okay. Right. So, where's the party bus heading next? Let's get some torch action out, shall we? There we go. Ooh, we've got an axe. Very nice. I don't think we're ever going to use the axe, because as with all melee weapons, there is literally no point in using them. They are an absolute waste of time. Ah, uh, we've got a sledgehammer over there. We've got a... Ooh. Ooh, hello. Evening. Nice to meet ya. That's fine. They can come and interrupt our little uh, escapade if they like. We have flaming gun. So, you know, what have they got? Nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, you can see the hit detection as well is just fucking terrible. Like, actually trying to ignite some of their fishes. At least at some, you know, some points. It's just luck. See, that was a direct hit on the fisher, but it, just, it didn't do anything. You know? Um, quite often you'll see that your bullets go straight through the enemy, which is kind of annoying. Anywho, let's just do this. Although I th think this is one of those doors. Yeah, I think we just have to blow this door apart. Stand back, Sarah. Sarah. Remember the whole stand back thing? Remember that? Huh? You're not going to stand back, are you? Yeah, I don't think the hit detection... Can't you stand somewhere else, Sarah? Honestly, I, uh, I would say I worry about you. Throwing a bomb to blow the door up. What the hell are you doing? Oh, that's right. You're doing what you always do. The big buckle. So we're whinging and whining and moaning about the situation. All right. Cool. Hey, there's another hammer there. Can't pick the hammers up, though. Out the... Look, seriously, out the way. Out the way. You're not a target, no. You're a hindrance. Absolute hindrance. Right. Let's get some torch action going on here. So, here we are. Room three... Uh, room 943. Hmm. What could possibly be in here? About fucking time. Well, as much as I do. You're rather pretty when you're quiet. 
Enough with the jokes. Just open it, will you? Mm. Actually enjoying this a lot more now we don't have to go around and get the roots of evil. They were really irritating. That's what we're supposed to look like, by the way. A lonely place. Feels like Theo. I really hoped you would be here waiting for us. Take a look at this. There's writing. Theo, my pupil, and I. 1936. You haven't changed. Barely. But Theo's dead and it leads me nowhere. Hey, what the hell? And randomly, there's fire. Because why not? Um, okay. So the game would be teaching us about our invisible vision. Um. Yeah. The game should be teaching us about our invisible vision. Oh, I like the way we actually get a torch. Somehow, when we're looking into our inventory, even if it's pitch black. Uh, can we get the torch out? Thank you. So, it's gone a bit batshit crazy in here, but we don't really need to worry about any of that. Because, as you can see, it all settles down. No time to be scared. So, if we shut our eyes... Um... Yes. You heard that? There he is. There is our friend. Theo. He actually is here. He's just not quite his uh, living self. His spirit is here. Teaching us. Guiding us, if you will. Now, we have to look at this. Here, it's written, Sarah. Oh, probably a coincidence. Yes, your name is randomly written. And there's Theo. What's interesting, because we're fully maxed out, we appear to be able to see him without having to close our eyes, which is interesting. Sarah, Sarah, I want you to, to what? Knock. Sarah, I want you to knock. That's a really creepy ass face you got there, dude. Knock. Knock bottle. Knock bottle. The hell are you talking about, Theophile? Yeah, it's really hard to actually trigger these bits. Sarah, I want you to knock him down. down. Sarah, I want you to Sarah, I want you to knock him down. Thanks, Theo. Sounds like you're gonna have to kick my ass. Uh, but I don't want to hurt you. I, I could I know it sounds absurd, but hey. You dream of it. Okay, let's do it. So it's not an option. <sighs> All right. Before, I, I wanted to tell you that... You don't know, hate me that much? That's it? Okay. Give me that thing here. <laughs> I'll Oof. To you. That's one hell of a lump around the head. I'll tell you that. We have no time. I died to join you here, because this war is raging on every plane of existence. The stone you're carrying offered men fortune and eternal life. They called it the Philosopher's Stone, but they were fooled. When Lucifer was deposed from heaven and forced to live among men as a mortal, he designed an artifact that would carry his soul through time, waiting for the right moment to take his revenge. Lucifer was trapped in his own creation. But I have released him. Now he's searching for the stone, because it can recast his fate as well as ours. 
Like people, Central Park hides secrets you shall exhume. Some are lethal, but one of them can save us. Mm. And close your eyes. Edward, did something happen? Uh, you said something about eyes. Close my eyes. Theo told me what? that... Yes, we saw Theo. He told me to close my eyes. So he's not really dead. He's just passed on to the next world. Mm-hmm. Incredible, all right. Well, that looks like one hell of a drill. Not sure what they're drilling for, but... Hey, look at this. Okay, let's see this. Theo's diary. The old castle two months before. The old castle was called the Eye of Central Park by the Templars. I guess the lens must be placed up there to point out the key's location. But I don't have time to be sure. It could be anywhere under our feet, waiting for centuries in the darkness of the underground. But something is coming. I feel it. Oh, we've got loads of letters here apparently. Hello Edward, my old friend, my mentor. If you read this, it means I've dragged you back from the curse of the stone. Seventy years ago, uh, you took me as your pupil. I was a young offender then, but you saved me by giving me faith in an esoteric mysteries. When you found the stone and began your research, you realized my fascination for it and understood the evil that was trapped inside. So one day you disappeared to Europe with the stone, thanks to the medallion. Time had no effect on you for 70 years, but in return it deeply corrupted you. I felt betrayed when you left. Now I'm grateful. Our fate is in your hands, my friend. I found this poem in the circular room. The hands of Venus will shape the lock to this door, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. It's a surprise. The carrier is not meant to follow the path of light alone, but sounds coherent, coherent with the principles of alchemy. Mars and Venus, a man and a woman, the completion of two, finally making one, the strength of humanity. I just don't know who this Venus will be. The lens must be enlightened. It's so simple. Any beam of light projected through the lens has the power to open the path of light's door. Light is the fuel. Everything those Templars built was centered on light as a physical force. They found a way to channel it like a fluid. It's the source of their power and their incredible science. It seems that the door in the room works on the same principle. Yeah, so that brings us up to date with Theophile. And no messages from Sarah. Okay. Right. Venus will shape the lock to this door, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. Yeah. This is kind of annoying. The lens, which is a key item, actually takes up um, an item slot in our pocket. And we have it for the rest of the game. Now, that would be fine. But we really don't use it that much. So, you know, I don't know why he couldn't just put it in his actual jean pocket or something. But, you know. We're not here to question things. Anyway. Let's just line these two puppies up. Now this is really frickin' fiddly to do this properly. Yeah, man. There we go. There we go. Nope, not quite enough. 
No, still not enough. How's that? Still not enough. Yeah, this is ridiculously fiddly to actually trigger these. I hate this part. Unless it might be because there's still something we need to do in here. Maybe. However, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Yep, we've 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 got it all. We we've, we've got it. We've we've done the thing with the thing. Alright. Why do you keep showing me? I have a feeling it may have bugged out. Which, to be honest, wouldn't surprise me. And we can't blink. Okay. So, do we have to say anything to her? Yeah, we've got it selected. Uh, she's supposed to go on some bollocks about she's got to stay here and we've got to go off and work the thing out. Uh... Okay, do we have enough power in our torch? Yes, we do. Apparently our torch isn't actually draining here. There we go. Yeah, you just have to get like the right pixel. These things are pretty annoying, to be honest. Oh, I understand. There we go. My part in all this. I have to build the lock to that door. Uh -huh. This is what I was meant to do, right? Right. I'm heading to the old castle. Build this lock and maybe we'll see the end of this soon. Trust me. And take care. Now, she's got to build the lock. Uh, I don't think she builds much of anything. So whether that's a euphemism for something, I don't really know. But we're going to carry on with our guns. Because that's what we do best. Uh, right. Oh, talk about that. We don't really have a huge amount of stock left at the moment but that's fine we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out we always do uh, we've got these bloody rats nests everywhere you know what's interesting I know I've said this quite a lot but without the filler that the game uh, stuffs down your throat by sending you off to constantly take out these roots of evil this game flows so much better it really does flow better without those stupid roots of evil. I mean, they if they forced you to go off and find them, maybe it would have been a good idea if they gave you a bit of story for doing it or something, but you really get nothing. It just literally wastes hours of the game driving around the empty park to destroy them. Anywho, right, we need to raise that bridge here. And then... We need to, something that really screwed me up the first time. We need to take this bloody forklift and keep going with it. So I'm pretty sure, first time round. In fact, I'm certain first time round I left the forklift back there. And it took me ages to work this next puzzle out. But I didn't realise the bridge wouldn't fall back down uh, if we moved the forklift. So, I guess that's on me. I should have experimented with that a little bit. Okay, now what has we down here? Ah, we have some more fire. Fire that apparently has been eternally burning forever. That's fine. Another bridge to raise up. Okay, we can handle this. I mean, of course we can. We're the light bringer, apparently. Now, the end of the game is very strange. We're not going to talk about it too yet. But it, oh, I don't know. The end of the game stayed with me for quite a while, but not for good reasons. It stayed with me because it makes little sense and is a bit shit. Right, let's switch that. That will bring out that. Lovely. 
Come on, you bastards. Come on, stand right up. Uh, we got one of you. You can scoot and sketch around as much as you like, dude. You're literally a dead demon walking. You just don't know it yet. There we go. Alright. Now, back in the forklift. Um, I've, I don't think we've mentioned the music yet, either. It's like the background music for this game is fucking terrible. Yeah, right. Now, this forklift is strong. Like, it is ridiculously strong. I guess we don't even have to move these things out of the way, thinking about it. Or we don't have to extend the forks. But we do need to get up there. Oh, God, get out. Because we've got the, these bloody green ones are the worst. They gob this green shit all over you. Which I don't think it hurts. But it stops you from being able to see for ages. And you have to mash the stick to clear your vision. Oh, great. Uh, we only have six applications of flume left. Which yeah, is quite a bit. But definitely rather have a bit more than that. So we need to get up there and fondle with some buttons. Okay. Let's kill these fucking little dickweeds first. Ah, oh, there's another nest over there. Now, you would have thought that the powers of hell are infinite, but I'm glad they can only spawn limited amounts of enemies. That's for sure. I mean, personally, if I was in charge uh, of the demonic invasion, I'd have just spawned so much shit that he would have had no chance in hell against it. But, you know. That's just me, I guess. Okay, now we need to build a path. We build a nice little steppy step ladder. For our hero here. Jesus! Make his way over. There we go. Yeah, it reminds me of a game. A certain game set in 1986 in Japan. Hmm, can't quite think of it. Right. Ugh, this took me ages because climbing up here is really glitchy. Or maybe it's not glitchy, you just have to be in third person mode to do it, which I guess makes sense. Um, well, okay, it doesn't make sense, but that's just the way it is. Let's flick that shit switch. And there we have yet another way across. Lovely. Oh, hey, friend. Sorry, you're not allowed to turn in the forklift. Mine! My forklift. Okay, load up, reload. Get some more juice on the bullets. I like having juice on my bullets. And with that, guys, we are pretty much out of time. So, when we come back, we're going to take this forklift. And we're going to push it through the door. And holy fucking shit. We're really far through this game. Like, we're really far through this game. Like, 70% of this game is burning those bloody evil roots. God, I'm glad we don't have to do that again. Right. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.